I may be a tiny bit late. But hey, we're here. Hopefully everything will go smoothly from here on out. I miss this. What? We just went backwards, what is this? Just wanted to backflip. It's all I want. I'll take that. I'll take that as, like, as well. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. I forgot if I need to use the left stick or right stick on this. For whatever reason, I was thinking it was left stick. Oh heck, this actually shows the things on the gamepad. You learn the Wind's Requiem. I didn't realize it would just show it on the gamepad. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a mighty fine breeze. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Hey, I'm gonna skip this dialogue. I realized something. This is gonna take forever, but I'm gonna do it. Heck, I can't believe this. I honestly can't believe that's the thing. Really? I, well, I might be mistaken. But I'm gonna do this first. Because I think you wanna get one shot at that guy. I think. And I would like to get that pic like that photo. Hmm. Yes, let's continue. He might tell us to... Oh, heck. Unfortunately, we cannot depart until the wind blows south. It would be a fatal mistake to set sail under an unnoticed, unstable breeze. I have heard legends that tell of a wind god. He once resided on the sound. It is said that the wind obeys his every whim. Have you heard nothing of him? Well, heck. Well, we are doing the, uh... Other playthrough. Proud mode at some point in the future. So I guess... We'll redo it then, maybe. Unless he shows up again. But I don't think he does. Which is a shame. You learn Wind's Requiem. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great. Great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up. Well... He gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a bad thing. Very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miss miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment with people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. No! <laughs> oh, we can't even look at him. But I believe we have to take a picture of him then. I think. 
Which is a shame. Oops. Well, alright then. Nothing happened. Okay, we're gonna go... South. We're not really gonna go south yet. But I'm gonna get on the boat. The King of Red Lions. Hmm. Yes, let's go this way. And he throws me off the boat like, no. We're not going that way. You heck. If he actually said that to me, I'd be very sad. We have four islands uncovered. Ooh. Hoy, hold it there, right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about the at this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Alright. There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of this here Dragon Reef Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get th there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you ain't get going to be—you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can say. Teach you, small fry. But well, I'll do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the great sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out of the water surface. Trust me, this is a good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. No, don't say I had never did anything for you, Fry. Hoy, you there. Oh, pfft. Holy, you there. You kingly red lion guy. That's it. I ever paid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. I'm curious about that island, or that cave. We get closer to the island. I think we have, we have one of these. I just get a little bit closer. So, I need to get to the back of the island. Also, why is there just a block right there? Hmm. Like, can we pick up like a heart piece or something with this? I don't remember. I really don't. I need to turn around and go in there. Okay, there's a chest in here, so we do have to get in here somehow. I'm gonna just whap this and hit back. I didn't think we would actually get that, but hey. Never hurts to try, right? I'll do this, because if we run into uh, an island out here, which we might, we probably will, because I think there's an island on every square, we'll uh, see about getting the map filled out. We need that deluxe picto box. I wish we would have gotten that beforehand, but I just didn't. 
have been very helpful for, to us if I would have done that. You don't really see any island out here. I see that, like, light though. I saw that light. Okay, I do still see it. I don't think this was close enough. Let's see if it is though. Nope. Heck. It's right around here somewhere. Let me go away from it real quick. Is it right here? Yes. Also, it's getting really heckin' dark out here. What is going on? Ooh, purple ripple. I see that fish. At least I think I see that fish. I'm, I'm gonna do it on the islands we have been to before too, just so we get some information on them. Here you go, buddy. I think this is just for the lookout though. Holy small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about the island. Then to start by opening up your sea chart. Is there actually an island? There's a paw print island. Do you know what a choo choo is, small fry? No, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. I'm talking about choo choos. There are those slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly sand up and start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. Well, in any case, there's lots of them on that island over there. So if you see any, I'd avoid them. They can get nasty. Now that I think about it, every once in a while I see the, the potion brewer who lives on Windfall Island come here. Now why would he do that, Fry? And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. I'm I just turned and then I see the island. It's these guys again, heck. I want to talk to them. Yo. Ya bub! You collecting treasure, bub? To see where you can find treasure, open your map. If you compare the island charts on the right with the treasure charts on the left, it should be easy to figure out. The secret hall of treasures to go to the spot marked on the map, and then use your gas and cook it while you're in your boat. Then it just takes patience, bub. A lot of first time treasure hunters give up pretty quickly because they don't get how it works, but they're missing out. It's really not that hard. So that's how it works. Alright, bye. Little buddies. Let's check out this island. Yeah, we can't really go everywhere. But we can at least go to this little main island right here. Also, what are the, oh, these are choo choo heads? Okay. I don't really think we can do anything here. Right now, at least. Hmm. Where's that sign at? There it is. What do you say? Whoops. To reach Dragon East Island, head east from here. I mean, we can see it. 
To be fair, if you hadn't been there before, you might not know if that's the actual island or not. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but that's just a weird place to have a sign, in my opinion. We need to pick up some, uh, more bait, just in general. But I guess we can do that soon. Also, I still can't believe I actually screwed that up. We should have gotten this last week. We'll get as many as we can. I don't know if New Game Plus will carry over those, but we'll see. And since we're not actually going to be able to get everything in this playthrough, we might as well just do New Game Plus immediately after we beat this. If we do that, I think we'll go ahead and do uh, Master Quest not creating time before we uh, figure out what's after that. So we already know what we're doing after we beat this. And here, here I made whatever it's called. Yeah. Holy small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want to start with information about this island. I'll start by opening up your C chart. Out of the cape of this island is this crazy dancing fool who can't tell day from night. The guy is nuts. But you've got to respect someone who's not afraid to just let it all hang out like that, you know? I've been watching him, thinking I'd try to learn that dance and compete with him from out here in the ocean. But I just can't see him swing with that crazy, funky rhythm of his. You should teach him true rhythm with your baton, small fry. Show him what it's all about. And that's all the info I have to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. Sorry, but that's policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. I see that, and I want it. It's mine. Hmm. right here give it to me ha <laughs> ha I'm getting to I'm like I don't know if uh, where my money cap is so I might be getting just too much that gave me exactly 500 so I don't know if it's more than 500 or not but I do know I'm ready to buy some stuff from Beetle whoops <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to, like, set sail again. For whatever reason, I thought, I used to get out. What? Oh! Thank you, as always. I appreciate your business. If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off of you. Or would you prefer to buy something? Due to circumstances beyond my control, I don't carry arrows at this point in time. Please just wait a little longer, huh? Thank you! Yes, thanks to you. Now you have six points saved up. You can tr you should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Bye! I realized too I said thank you and he said thank you. Yeah. Oh heck, that's nice. I'm gonna wait till daytime. Yeah. It's too heckin' dark out here. Is the moon is going down, right? Hmm. We're gonna get that pick the box pick the box next time. Wait, isn't there an auction house? Isn't it the place where I break the pots? Well now, good evening. 
Yes, yes, I ran out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever. Now it is, indeed, an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it's a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. Yes, yeah, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Yeah. Really? Dear me, really? Now you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you. Am I correct in this me this? I'm completely not fine. Then, my dear, allow me to explain. Once the auction begins, you must sh shrewdly tap A repeatedly so you can earn the right to bid. Oh, the tapping. The excitement. Yes, yes, when you want to bid, tap A. As you do, your gauge will gradually build up. Once your gauge is full, your chance to bid has finally come. Oh dear me, yes! Now when you bid, you're naming the price you're willing to pay for the item. Let us just call it your chance to show off your wealth. Flaunt it, my dear. Of course, if your fellow bidders try to buy the item out from under you by raising the bid, you can always raise it in return. Indeed, this produces much excitement. The dramatic back and forth goes on until time runs out. At which point the person who had the highest bid gets the sublime honor of purchasing the item. The auction only lasts one minute, not counting time people spend talking. But do not worry, I'll show you how much time remains when you make your bid. Now do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Very well. Let us begin immediately. It's no time to dawdle. The auction is afoot. On your toes, on your toes. I wonder how this is going to go. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin. Yes. And what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh, dear me. I'm so excited. I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Let's get to this. This evening, our glorious auction item is this. A fabulous swift sail. Oh my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. But all drama aside, you should know it is extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It's precious, quite dear. Very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Let's say from the bidding at 100 ruples. And begin! Hundred and three rupees. A hundred and six rupees. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Missy. The bid is a hundred and six rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. A hundred and ten rupees. 115. Oh, this kid means business. Yeah, 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 yeah. 118 rubles. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy gummy. The bid is 118 rubles. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. 122 rubles. 126! Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Minico. Banco? The bid is 126 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose! 132 rupees. You know, I want to do a big bid. 135! Let's go for 150. Oh dear me. Booty bid is 150 rupees and the crowd of auctioners reels. I see nothing but stunned faces. 
But he's just an innocent little boy. How did I let him trick me like that? They're all stunned and confused. They don't know what to do. Time is running out, dear friends. I'm not going to press anything. 154 ruples. No. 165. Oh, this kid means business. One hundred sixty-nine. Ah, one hundred seventy-five. I'm going for two hundred. With fifteen seconds remaining. Oh god, that could have been bad. Two hundred rubles. Oh dear me. Previous two hundred rupees, and the crowd of auctioneers get reels. I see nothing but stunned faces. Ack, is he serious? What a brat! There's much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? Yes, 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 yes! Only five seconds remain! Are you all done? Is this the end? Oh god. 208 rupees. Just because I think this might stun him. Christ! I'll get him for this. No! 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 Here ends the auction! Tonight's fabulous little sale goes to Missy for the price of 239 rubles. Dear me. Let me just say congratulations! Oh, did I win? Hehe! <laughs> I can't believe it! But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there. And yes, yes, also for you not so lucky ones, let me say thank you for participating. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. Girl, I can't stand it. I was in the thick of it. I was in the mix. Everything was going according to plan. Yarr. Well, I suppose good things do come to those who wait. Imagine that. Maybe I have more talent for this sort of thing than I thought. Oh well, but next time I'll become bidding like a racehorse right out the gates. Grr, next time I'm definitely winning. Wow, this is terrible. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clearly this has been some kind of awful mistake here. I demand an investigation. The key to winning the auction is to be right in the thick of all the bidding. Be aggressive, it's the only way. For example, try upping the bid by more than just a few rupees. You need pretty deep pockets, of course, but... If you play it right, your move might just be such a mental shock to the other bidders, they won't know what to do. If you manage to shock them, they won't be able to bid until they snap out of it. Then you can get things for cheaper than they would normally go. Neat trick, huh? So I guess the objective would be to raise it by 10% or maybe even 20. Hmm. So that's Swift Cell for anybody that's only played the uh, original version of the game. It is really good because you don't need to play the song anymore to uh, actually change the direction of the wind. It just faces the direction of the fast sail. Swift sail, I mean. We're going to try it again. I don't know if he'll have that on there again, but we'll see. Yes, good. It speeds things up. Very well, then. Let's, let us begin immediately. It's no time to dawdle. Do 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 the option is afoot. Your toes on your toes. I think uh, one guy got switched out. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank you all. Okay, yeah. The item this evening is a swift sail. Okay, so we do get it again. My dear, oh me, my dear me. As you no doubt see, this is the item that Missy won in our last auction. Yet for reasons I cannot fathom, Missy has since parted with this fine item. Thus it is once again appearing in our auction. But do not worry. This certainly does not mean that the item is subpar. It just means that clearly this item is worth far more than the original man was purchased for. But just listen to me delay. Enough with the long-winded explanation. 
Let the auction begin. A hundred rupees and go. You know, I'm not gonna actually do it until he's like five seconds left. 103 ruples. Hundred six ruples. I wanna wait. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Missy. The bid is 106 ruples. Can I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. 109. Whoops. 110. Hmm, not bad for a kid. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy booty. The bid is 110 ruples. Go hear another bid. Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. 113 rupees. 119. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top leader is the worthy Garrickson. The bid is 119 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose. Let loose. 123. I didn't mean to actually do it last time. 129. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Anton. The bid is 129 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose. Let loose. 132. I'll wait for him to be out five seconds left. 135. Yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Gummy. The bid is 135 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. 138. Last five seconds, please. 141. Link looks so upset. You know what? 150. Hee hee hee. Keep trying, little guy. Time is running out, dear friends. I find it weird that it actually goes up on its own. 156. 164. But I, yeah, I didn't expect it to actually go up on its own. 174. Hundred seventy eight. Hundred eighty two. I'm watching my bar slowly go up. I'm spooked. 188. 196. Jeez. 204. What? 208. There's much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? 214. Say five seconds. Only five seconds remain. Are y'all done? Is this the end? Two hundred forty-five rupees. Oh dear me! Booty bid two hundred forty-five rupees. The crown of auctioneers reels. I see nothing that the sun faces. What? I used to be called Miss Auction. I can't lose now. Look at that. And sold. Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous Swiss sale goes to Booty for the price of two hundred forty-five rupees. Dear me. Wait to say, congratulations! You got the swift sale. Thanks to expert sale making craftsmanship, you can now sell faster than ever. What's better, whenever you use it, a favorable wind will be at your back. No need to manually change wind direction. Voyaging has never been more efficient. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid has a bidding machine right up to the end. Now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, for also you, also for you not so lucky ones, let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. Where would a kid get that much money? That's crazy. You can't even match funds with a child. Talk about humiliating. 
Young man, you shouldn't be so loose with your wallet. I mean, you must have gone through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to earn that kind of cash. The key to winning the auction is to be right in the thick of the bidding. Be aggressive, that's the only way. For example, okay, so he's saying the exact same thing he did last time. We already knew that, I guess. I underestimated you, sorry. Kid, well done, I guess. Well, I'm impressed. It looks like the old Gallo doesn't win this time. No! Why? How? It's not fair! Well, heck. I'm surprised I actually won that, honestly. We have, like, no money now, though. Hey, now. Here again? Of course I'd like to. Let's see what the what the thing is this time. I think he can give you a heart piece, too. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what's that a tur what a turnout. The auction's about to begin, yes. And what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear me. I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm makes my nose run. Let's get to it. This evening, our glorious auction item is this. Treasure chart. Oh my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. Let's see, we've read all this for. Let the auction begin. Five rupees? Okay. And... Bing, bing in. Just sit here, not doing anything. Eight rupees. Eleven rupees. Fourteen. This is just the stream of nothing but auctioning. Yes, 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 our current top bidder is none other than the esteemed Gossack. The bid is 14 rupees, but come now, friends. I hope you won't let it stop there. 17. 21. 28. Yes, 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 our current top bidder is none other than the esteemed Linda. The bid is 28 rupees, but come now, friends. I hope you won't let this stop here. 35. 38. And we just play the waiting game. 41. Okay, so it is going up still. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is not other than the esteemed gummy. The bid is 41 rupees, but net come now, friends. I hope you won't let it stop there. 45. Time is running out, dear friends. 49. 55. 61. I'd like if this did not even hit 100 until I bid. 69. They're bidding so fast. 73. 77. 83. Jeez, they won't stop. 87. 95. This freaks me a little bit. 101. There's much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? 105. 113. 117. Yes, it's only five seconds remain. Are you done? Is this the end? Hundred thirty six rupees. Oh dear me. Pretty bids hundred thirty six rupees and the crowd of auctioneers drills I see nothing but sun faces. No, give me a break already, kid. 
I will not give y'all a break. And sold. Here ends the auction. And that fabulous treasure chart goes to Booty. For the price of 136 rupees. Dear me. We just say congratulations. Heck. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster watch wife the prize. Heck. We just have two people to talk to. Oh. Well, honestly, where in that tiny body could he be hiding with all that cash? You little darling, could I adopt you? <laughs> adopt you, yes. Sure. Why not? But, um, we'll say I'm sorry if I've been yawning as much as I have. Because, uh, I just, I couldn't sleep last night. I had one of those days where it's just nothing. Like, no sleep was get it, has was gotten. Alright. I see there's, I see on the map there's a, a chest down here. So we're gonna go grab it real quick. Hmm. Wait a minute. Aha! That's it right there. I like how there's just an X on the gamepad map. Okay. Let's get this. This treasure is ours. I also like how the graphic hook just looks like a hand here. Fifty ruples. All right. I see that other treasure right there. What could it be? Is it something good? I wasn't close enough. Thought as much. I love his expression right there. Ooh, treasure. Fifty rupees, I'll take it. Also, wait a minute. Just realized something. I yeah, uh, I could go into that one place real quick and get one of the pictures I need. It'd be, it'd be kind of funny if I could hit this and just jump onto land with the boat. The King of Red Lions, he probably wouldn't be too happy about that. It would be pretty neat. Heck. Let's go. I really wish I would have gotten better sleep last night. My sleep was heckin' awful. What is in here? Or like, who is in here? What? Just a second there, kid. Look, this isn't any time for a kid like you to be coming in here. Just trust me, okay? Go on, now, go home. Hey, have you ever seen what I call the fright Frightening Fishman? Check this out. The other day I was out at sea on a cruise, and without thinking much about it, tossed some leftover bait out on the waves. You'll never guess what happened. This fishy-looking thing popped up on the surface, but it was no ordinary fish. It had this weird, human-looking smile on its face, and it just gobbled up the bait. The action is so very vast, many myster mysterious things that we've yet to be ever dream of lie sleeping beneath its waves. Heck. Squid. You ever been all laid up by one of them squid out on the Great Sea? Nope. It's so one time, our ship got caught in this giant whirlpool. You get me? That's where... What's there waiting for us in the middle of it? The giant squid you ever seen. Lover Spotty had these beady, gnarly, glowing eyes. Don't even know what was going on. 
on, on with its tentacles. Now that I'm thinking on it, those were the squirreliest size I'd ever seen. If I ever come across the beast again, I'll well him in the eyes. That's what I'll do. Ah, uh, nothing's better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Nothing. Heh <laughs> heh. What are you doing in a place like this at such a late hour? Isn't it bedtime for all the little brats? I'm not a little brat. You heck. I should roll into him. Okay, thanks. And show him no mercy. Let's see. It's gotta be daytime. I want it to be daytime. I mean, that'd be nice. It does look like it might be getting a little bit brighter. I'm not sure. I want to turn around. I want to go this way. Because I want it to be daytime so I can start working on getting the uh, pictograph. It's not what I meant to do, but okay. I can't believe how high I jumped. Right there. It is too soon for us to venture in this direction. We should set sail directly to our next destination. Really? That's just rude. I want to explore. Just let me explore. Maybe, hopefully, it'll become daytime soon. I doubt it, but we'll see. Heck. What? I was going towards where we needed to go. That's just rude. And uncalled for. Also, heck. I need more sleep. I really do, but I can't go back to sleep. Or I'll screw myself up for tomorrow. Most likely. So, heck. I don't know why I couldn't sleep like. Well, I know I couldn't sleep last night. I had a lot of stuff on my mind. But, I wish I could have gotten sleep. Heck. Can we only go from Windfall to uh, Dragon Roost down south to. Uh, that one island I can't think of the name of. We'll try to explore the islands along the way as we go down. And hope that we can do a couple things. I just wish it would be daytime. It looks like it's trying to be daytime. Wait a minute. I just realized something. I honestly just realized that. Whenever you're near the main islands, time doesn't really seem to change. Okay, because, like, see, that's just the moon. Full moon. It's all good and everything. Then we go over here to the next area, and yeah, it's slowly going today. Hmm. All right. Let's explore around here real quick. Come on, little buddy. You're going down in the ocean. Hmm. Beetle, why are you out here? This seems like a bad place. Especially with the storm. 
Where will this even put us whenever we come out? Ooh. I want to buy all your things. We're about to have uh, nine saved up. You know what? I'll buy one of these and I'll buy another one of the pairs. We'll go ahead and get ten. I don't know why I moved all the way over to the, the second fair whenever I, I just Bye. needed another one. Because I didn't need to buy one from each row. But I did. I guess this didn't put me too far away from where I thought I'd be. I do wonder though. How long will it take for the sun to actually come up? Heck. Just let me climb. That's all I ask of you. I couldn't do this. I could not climb this in real life. I'd be too heckin' spooked. Poke! Poke! I didn't need to poke you. You just jumped off the edge. Heck. Give me these heckin' ruples. <gasps> it's becoming daytime. I still wish that I could land in the boat. Oh, this music. It's so good. I do really enjoy it. I love this game so much. Dang it. I went forward because I didn't think I'd actually reach it. Hmm. I'm going to try this one more time. Because I do want to land in the boat like that one day. In game, not in real life. That'd hurt. Well, I'd probably be dead in the seal. Are you kidding me? I should be able to make it. Oh, so this looks so nice. And heckin' beautiful. If I could, I'd love to live somewhere very close to the ocean, actually. Wait a minute. All I gotta do is move forward a little bit. This is the last attempt. I know this is really stupid, but I want to do this. Let's make it up here. I landed right on his face, and he's just like, no. Oh, it's so nice and pretty. Like, it, this game isn't what makes me want that. This game isn't what makes me want to live near the ocean or anything. I've always loved the water. I've always loved the ocean. I've always loved how amazing aquatic life is. And I've always wanted to experience more of it. It's just so amazing and wonderful and mysterious. I love it. I think I remember exactly where I need to be for that one picture. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just go in here real quick and just leave. 
Also, I didn't realize that the time of day would not change uh, like when you're around the main islands. Place a decorative object here is Y, X, or R. Hmm. Wish I could turn this off. Hmm. I can't. Wait, options. Try to escape off. There we go. Okay, I can do that. There we go, that's so much nicer. Now my hands won't go shaky, 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 shaky. Where's the guy at? Is it him? Is he the one that walks to it? Or is it somebody else? I think it might be the guy with blue hair. It's the guy with blue hair, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Let's go around and look real quick. There he is. Oh god, he's on his way. Ow. They're both so slow. Why is this? I'd love to just like be on a little small island for a little bit. Like a place like this. This just seems like such a nice, peaceful place. I don't know if I'll ever find that though. Or if I'll ever be able to go to a place like that. I'd like to though. I see there's a person coming this way. God, where am I looking? I see you. I don't really see you, but heck. You've got to be on your way. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to get a peckin' picture of you. Yes. I hope that was right. Dang it. I didn't get that in time. Maybe we'll get that next time. I'm so glad the motion controls are no longer a thing. You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography skill capabilities is at long last nearing fruition. But now I've grown old and have no real desire to leave this island. I'm sorry, I hate to hesitate to ask, but could you, for hat, for chance, become my photograph assistant? Sure. Oh ho. Really. Really and truly. My heart leaps at your enthusiasm, but I feel I must tell you, the path of an assistant. The path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever, whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. It'll be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you still sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Ha. You must share my love with the pentagraph. What is your name, young sir? Booty, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the day that you complete all three tasks, you shall be my number one assistant, Booty. Now then, follow my first command. A love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It's a collection of words of love. 
long unspoken and put into written form. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters to of doomed love. I'm certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is in quite a quandary over the matter. I'm of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus you your first task is to snap a photograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you have to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. Yes. Oh ho! Now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Hmm. Now they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me, but I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall promptly take this photograph from you and use it most efficiently. Very well. My next command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to catch the instant of pure fear on this individual's face in the pictograph. So tell me, do you think you can complete this task, young sir? Yeah, let's go. Let's get that deluxe picto box. Hmm. I think he's in the bar. If I'm not mistaken. We'll see. Haha. -ha. What? I've had so much trouble getting this to happen. Heck. Could you two please drop? No. Yes. I doubt that'll work. Hopefully that one will be fine. I'll show them the... Well, I'll show him that one first. But I'll try both of them. And I hope the picture from earlier, like last week, will actually be fine for what we need. Oh heck, he starts right here. Let's see. Hmm, that's not quite right. I'm sure it's smart. There's no way I could possibly give you a passing grade. I'm afraid you must retake the shot. Heck. Arr. I must be better at taking pictures. What if I just take a selfie with the guy while he's freaking out like, ah! I could do that. That might not work. It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't even be so, like, close to him to begin with. Yes. Right, let's try that. I didn't need to be as close as I thought I did. Hopefully, this is what I need. Just throw the bait out at him and scare him. Just actually throw the fish food at him from Jet Force Gemini. Maybe that does something. Oh ho! Now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Clearly this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. 
fear is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in a most admirable manner. Say, and is it me, or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, young sir. And this means you have passed my second test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Very good. Next, is at long last my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. I just want to sound as a couple, a man and a woman whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other. And yet for reasons unknown, they have never even spoken. Even when they happen to by chance pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief fur furtive glance of the other. They suppress the longing in their hearts. Can I let this tragedy go any longer? For the sake of the town and my own desire to help these two poor souls, I shall become Cupid. Archer of love. These two are timid bur burglars. These two are two are timid burglars in the house of love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking in their furtive thoughts. And young Master Booty, if and when you, if and when hope beyond hope, we manage to complete this third task, you shall be my number one pupil. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Wait a minute. Oh ho, that is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. Even I, who have lived in the sound for so many years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Booty. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir. You have completed all the tasks I set to you. Set you to. My doubts about you have been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Booty. And no assistant of mine will be seen going around taking pictographs in monochrome. Not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you with this picto box. You got a deluxe picto box, gift from Linzo, commemorating your becoming your becoming his assistant. He can take color pictographs. Set it to and use it with Y, X, or R. Hmm, until now you can only take black and white pictographs. Now you can take color pictographs, allowing you to show the world as it was meant to be seen. Now go out there, snap pictographs, snap them in color for me. For all the years I've been unable to do so, fulfill my life's ambition, go to it, booty. I hate this is not inverted. Yes. We must keep his picture. I wonder if he just like straight up tells him. I wonder if the Dorito Postman has already come today. I guess not. I just doesn't feel I've had my own lately. He's got such a distinguished chin. He's always walking back and forth. Heck. It was weird though, me being in the bush behind her when she was doing that, because it's like I wasn't even talking to her. Or she was just talking out loud. Or thinking out loud. Of course you talk out loud, you have to. Don't mind me, I'm an idiot. You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered ferris wheel. I used to harness the wind's power to spin it quite, in quite a nifty manner. We rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. Pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though, so if the wind blew in the right direction again, we'd have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Hmm, it looks like the northeasterly wind is blowing now. Said right. Wait, I thought you said northeasterly. Hmm. So that's not what we need. Let's try west. Let's try west.
But... Okay. Do I have to have it blowing towards it? I don't remember what the direction has to be for this. Wait. Let's do that and see what he has to say. Whoa, that's a pretty incredible wind we've got blowing right now. The only thing about this fairy wolf swill is the fact that it doesn't matter how strong the breeze is. It won't budge unless someone presses a power switch. I don't know why when they did. I don't know why they didn't just make it work with like a regular old windmill. That'd have been way better. Where's the switch at though? Hmm. I'm not going to worry about that actually because I think we need the next dungeon's item to actually really do anything with it. Heck, I can't swim underneath that. No. I'm never going to make it to the boat. You know, laddie, if I had to give myself a title, it'd be know-it-all sailor. I'm wise, learned, experienced, go ahead. Ask me anything you want to know about the sea. I know it sounds like odd of me to say this about myself, but you should know that my mood changes with the wind. I'm a whirlwind of emotion, laddie, eh? I? You don't let that stop you from asking me anything you want to know. Ask away. That's really weird that his mood changes with the wind. But alright. I wonder if the wind actually does change direction. Or if it's just for this. Actually, I think it does. Okay. Let's continue on our journey. I don't know exactly how far we're gonna get. Because I keep fading in and out of like feeling good and bad. But we'll see what happens. Seriously, just wish I would have gotten more sleep. I know for a fact I needed more sleep. Let's see. Let's. Which direction do we go? South, of course. Don't mind me. This looks like an island. Very tiny island. But now, oh, we can't go there yet. Give me some info, fishy. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want to start an information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. I think it's everyone who's ever tried to get in there. Inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting out of the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. It's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, fry. I can't go fighting evil on a nifty something, you know. And with that, I'm off. So we can't even go to where that island is yet. We just gotta continue on here. There's probably a chest up here. Let's go for it. Whoops. 
That was an accident. That's just rude. Why are they shooting stuff at me? It's not like I'm gonna go up there and beat them up or anything. Those cannons are just heckin' rude. I can't believe you're literally going to try to bait me with that. I wish there was another heart. Oh well. Ooh, 10 rupees. I'll take it. Just, I'm not going to make this, but might as well try. Yeah, I knew that's too far away. Oh god. Where's the next island? That one looks like it's going to be close to the edge, but I don't know if I can get to it. There's a lot of whirlwinds out here. I see the island now. Ooh, those guys are here. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew this was close to one of them. Give me this. I had a feeling it was one that was one of the maps I had. Ooh! Heck yeah! What are you guys doing over here? Yo. Ya bub! You collecting treasure, bub? To see where you are and where you can find treasure, open your map. If you compare the island charts on the right with the treasure chests on the left, it should be easy to figure out. This here at hauling up treasures to get to the spot marked on the map and then use your grappling hook while on your boat. And it just takes patience, bub. A lot of first time treasure hunters give up pretty quickly because they don't get how it works. But they're missing out. It's really not that hard. So that's how it works. Bye. Yes. Oh, it just straight up tells me if it's good for that or not. Okay. That's really nice to know. Wait, where's the fish buddy? Thought I saw him earlier. There we go. Found him. Whoops. Here you go. I got a little spooked there for a second. Hoi, yeah. small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Take it you want to charge information about this island. It's not by opening up the sea chart. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, they've been when you've been beat by pulp by monsters and such, and you think you're finally make your match. If you got a fairy with you. And you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, Fry? If you go one south from here, do you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea? Look there. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but it's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach. And with that, I'm off. Heck. I just now realized I was not facing the right direction at first. Oh, 
Hold on. All right. We're one at, we're one thing south. Ooh. Here's that sub. I think that's it at least. Give me that chest. It's mine. Now let's see. I think that's the island right there. But what's in here? This looks like a sub if Donkey Kong made one. There we go. Take that, you hex. Nope. These rats need to go. The rats need to go more than anything, in my opinion. I had a feeling that there was rats coming for me. That's why I was poking him towards the screen while watching that one guy. Ooh, nice. You heck, that's mine. Yeah, an empty bottle. Heck. So we have what, two now? Yeah, we have two. Looks like we could hold up six, maybe. The question is, is there a way up there? Is there anything up in that room? Actually, I can get up here and probably use the camera and zoom in. I don't think there is anything in there. No. No. Where are you going, little rat, buddy? No. No. I can't believe it literally dropped right in front of me. You can stop, please. Dang it. No! I've, I want to get the picture of this rat. Yes! Okay, we got it. So we got the sub boys and we got that. Here we go. Ooh, well we got the jump in. Let's see. Yeah. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that it, it I heard I take it you want to chart and information about this island. Then I, I start by opening up the C chart. Words are hard, heck. It's like a bomb, almost. You gotta come sell these seeds on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you wanna hear it again, you have to throw some more bait in the water. 
for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, small fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. We sadly don't have any bombs. Of course I want to say that. Ho ho, to think that over there, there could be such a container. He's looking at the, uh, the thing. You know, the thing with the stuff, the submarine. Good evening. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Not a dang thing. Wish I had a bomb so I could see what's on here. Or see what's underneath that rock. Let me on the boat. So, we're actually finally going to the island. We should have been to it a lot sooner. Whoops, I didn't mean to get out of that. You need to just go up just a smidge. Might have gone a little too far. I did not go too far. Alright. Love Link's expression. There you get a chest. Fifty ruples. It's too many ruples if you ask me. Five hundred. I think fifty is the cap. Or if not fifty, five hundred is the cap. Do we want to wait for daytime? I want to turn back around and wait till daytime. But first... Wait. No, since, uh... We're missing it. I'm not going to. I thought it literally turned day as soon as we got out here. I was like, what? So spooky out here. The moon looks really cool. Looks, the moon looks really nice. The moon's setting. The sun should be rising. Let's look directly at the sun. I don't see the moon anymore. Ah. It's so nice to see the sun in this game and just hear this music playing. I do think it's really cool, like, sailing the seas out in the middle of the night, but still. It looks so much cooler in the day. Yeah, so you not see what rises up from the horizon? This is where you must go, Booty. The Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside the scroll that you will find the spirit of the earth. The great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Furrower's Pearl. Fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, booty. I don't know why I jumped in to the boat to do this, but I did. I don't know if this will work. They're right above me. Why do they not want to come to me? Do I stink? Maybe, actually. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, 
I just want the I just want the lighter to get down. All right. Wait. Something very important has come up. We need to access this. Wait, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want to start in the information about this island. Start by opening up your C chart. Yes. Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what can he be doing on that lonely little isle? I'll tell you, there's some strange folk in the world, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but it's, that's my policy, Fry. You can't go fighting evil on an empty sump, you know. And with that, I'm off. I'm actually going to go up north and check that island one more time. Because, I mean, if that's the case, maybe he might be on the island this time. I doubt it, but, I mean, we can see. That is the small island right there, I believe. I doubt he's on there right now, but we'll see. Looney, you see that squirrel? I just looked over and saw Luna looking out the door and I saw a squirrel run by. And she's like, what is that? I need it. Also, why is it raining so much here? Okay, not who I wanted. Maybe he's just on this island. He's not on that island. You're not on that plant, that the little platform. Get it, Luna, get it! Get it, Luna, get it! I better not encourage her to, she has jumped at the window before, or the screen door before. She's my little derp cat. Isn't that right, Luna? I really want to go back and lay back down. I want to go back in the room and lay down. I'm not going to. I can't do that. The past few days have been kind of rough sleeping. I've been getting the sleep, but it's taken forever. Last night was the worst. But it's fun. It happens. Get out of your deck, you baba. Is it Deku Lola? Hmm. Don't remember. Ow. That's just rude. There we go. You're, you're all hex. Get out of here. We need this. Without a doubt, we need this. There we go. You got a Boko Baba seed. You can just keep it in your spools bag. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps if you can find someone to cook, up, cook it up, this magic can be unleashed. Aha. Easy peasy. Also, this water is just like insane right now. You see, heck and peasy. I keep wanting to press down to look up. Can I change that in the options? Yes, I can. Thank you.
I forgot. Is it explained that this is the, uh... The, uh, Deku tree from the end of Ocarina of Time? Or is it a different one? I don't remember if they ever say anything. Yes. knock them all off. Oh god. I have so much well, I have such an easier time actually hitting them all with the uh, spin attack in this game than I do in the others. I don't know what the Hylian language is. If that's natural language, I'm sorry. I don't, it's not Hylian, but I believe it's Hylian in the game. Let's apologize, I was an error. I saw your clothing and suddenly felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I'm oh, the guardian spirit of this forest, haven the Deku tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. And you've come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monster deaths had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. I love these things. I might hate I might hate them whenever I get to the uh Breath of the Wild. We'll see though. What do you call yourself? Booty. Well then booty. This is a Korox, the spirits of the forest. It's a fun time long ago the Korox took on human forms. When they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me they will never be ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but the ceremony is not completed soon, and they'll fight could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Well, we are not, oh great Deku Tree. Something terrible has happened to Makar. It is Makar. Makar! What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, no, it's, it's not that. A great Deku tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I want to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods as he drew close to it. Flush, little Makar. Booty. You have heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed in the island of our far Haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place for that is home to evil beast. And now it seems that they've taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions will likely expect great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask you to ask this of you. But can you go rescue young Makar for me? The great Deku tree. People cannot fly through the air. Ah yes. Thank you, child, you were right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, it is, is it? Booty, I would guess from your size you're heavier than my Korok children. You think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Well, alright then. Hmm. Forgive me, Booty. Can you climb to my crown and get the leaf from up there? 
I can try. Isn't it? Oh, heck. So I think we need one for each one of these guys. He's giving me a little wink. I don't know how I feel about this. Wait a minute, I didn't talk to these two. What am I doing? The Forbidden Woods were once her home. They were peaceful back then. I would guess that her home should still exist somewhere deep within the woods. If you have trouble anywhere in the forest, just look for the stump shaped houses. Okay. Do you know about this flower? It's called a Baba Bud. You can stay in front of it, tilt left, and jump into it. Bubba Bods just has a peculiar habit of shooting you up in the air after you jump into them. So you can use them to jump up to hard to reach places. Alright. I can do it. Heck. I didn't look the direction I needed to, apparently. Let's go! We're so close! Alright. We made it. To this guy. Yes. Well, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep going... Just keep, just keep doing that until you get all the way to, up to the top. If you're not facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you tilt left stick in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. There we go. I can hear Sorry a song. Just a little bit. I'm going to have to replace the uh, telescope. Got the Deku Leaf. Set it to and use it with Y, X, or R. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here. Please, you must fly over from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Uh, there we go. How do I get into that? Heck, I did that way too late. Because I wasn't expecting it to be that button, though it clearly says it right there. I'm curious about this. So let's see. I guess we'll find out here. Maybe. Okay, so that does work. Okay. So can I jump off and get to that one? That was not towards that other guy. Because I don't want to go there yet. I want to get up to the higher point. Because I think if I get up to the higher point, I can make it to, uh... What should we call it? Heck. Aha! So that is an option. Good, 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 good. I wasn't entirely sure about that. But I'm glad I can do that. Also, I forgot that the magic pots aren't green in this game. Hmm. Which direction does the wind face? That's going south. I need to make it go north. There we go. Aha! 
You're incredible. Did, did you just fly down here? This is the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly... Do you think you maybe hit that switch over there, huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it? It's just over there, up towards the top of the far saving. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't have... Te in this day and age? Oh. Will this work from here? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of you at some point. I'm gonna take a picture of the seagulls too. Ah, nice. I like how that's also the uh, Mario 64 like uh, sound effect. I think it's in the desert level. Get over here. I like trying to get these seagulls. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. Nope. Oops. Let me erase. I wish I could still do tingle bottle stuff. I sadly can't. I think the rest are all good. I really wish I could uh, use a single bottle of stuff. Nope. Nope. Zoom in just a little bit more. Oh. How how does one get the good photo of the seagulls? Nope. Fly back around, please. Yes! There we go. Aha! So, you were a member of this whole time. Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you I got in and became a member too. Check it out, I gave this guy a pictograph, and he gave me this figure in return. Talk about cool. This will be all the rage. Let's get those amiibos. Welcome. Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery figurine play palace. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction? I hope. Ah oh, well. No worries one way or the other. We've been losing members due to the lack of our gimmick of gimmicky attractions. But we don't worry. True fans will know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display here have all been used by using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor, a pictograph that steals my breath away, you'll become a member and you'll be able to view the collection at our galleries. And won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? Are you saying my fans want this figurine? Wow, that golden freshly brushed hair, 
That style she had on something bod? Why, this is a mighty handsome man. Mercy, my very soul compels me to make a figurine from this picture. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Booty? Booty, is it? Well, Booty, this officially marks your induction into our little club. Things should be done with this tomorrow. So I'll have to ask you to be patient till then. Beautiful, breathtaking, sublime. The shiny pupil, the smooth, supple skin. Who is this? And where can I find such a beauty existing in the world? Why, this is beauty incarnate. Mercy. My heart bubbles over with the undeniable compulsion to create a figurine from this work of art. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. Figurine making requires love and time. You have to wait till tomorrow, I bet. You're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. Ah, ha, mmm. This is quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. Okay. Ah, ha, mmm. This is quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Okay, so there's not much to say about that guy. Ah, ha, mmm. Okay. So I don't think he's gonna have anything to say about any, like, no, no name characters. For the most part. Maybe. I still need to get the rest of them. What do you say about this? You don't have anything to say about the Great Deku Tree? What? Hmm. I'm very disappointed you don't have anything to say about that. At least we won't have any more pictures on us. Hmm. Alright, looks like I'm going. We at least got quite a few of them. There's still so many left to get. And I'm pretty sure we missed like over half of them. I want to be sure to get Beetle with this. I think King Red Lions is anywhere near me. Heck. Same left white on Beetle. That was a bad photo, but I'll take it. Ah, no. I don't want to be eaten. I don't know what happened there, but all right. Poke, poke. Let's go. Wait, I can probably get that guy. No. All right. Heck. Easy peasy. Ow. These guys are hurting me too much. They need to stop. There we go. They hurt me a little too much, honestly. Wait a minute. Oh. Let's go. I was afraid he was actually going to hurt me. This guy, though, he might hurt me, but I'm going to take a picture of him. Nope. Yes, okay, we got it. 